Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. I am your host, Anon Jr., and we are in Season 2, Episode 6, playing through Chrono Trigger. If you want to get caught up, all the episodes are on YouTube earlier in the playlist. And uh, here we are in the middle of the castle in the unknown time... Oh, no, it does finally let us know we are in the Middle Ages, so we are in 600, and... Um, we, we find out that the queen that was thought to have been lost has been found. And if you've been following the less than subtle hints that the game has been dropping, then you'll know that our friend Marley, who is most likely the king's daughter from the present age, is being mistaken for the queen. But we'll find out for sure in a minute. Let us continue our uh, informal tour of the castle and see what's up on uh, the West Wing. Not not the show. Not that West Wing. Go downstairs if you wish to rest. The night's quarters are below. Oh, good. Uh, I do like that, that, that if you're willing to do a little bit of travel, you can get free rest at a number of places. Would you like to rest? Uh, no, because if I... Yeah, I am at full health and magic. So there is at least that. The Fiend Lord troops are strangely quiet. Something must be afoot. Mm. Mm. I know some people that wake up like that. Zenon Bridge is our last line of defense. It must hold, even should it mean our lives. You're the Queen's friend, are you not? Talk to the maid if you need rest. Okay, you're not going to tell me anything different. What about you, good sir? If only Sir Cyrus were here. You've heard of him, surely? Uh, let me say no for purposes of the game. You don't know the great Sir Cyrus? From what depraved village do you hail? Dude, seriously, I'm right here. Long ago, a vile beast named Yakara lurked in the western forest. People were loath to wander near. But since the cathedral was built there, no monsters have been seen. It seems the place is truly blessed. Hmm. <laughs> Sir Cyrus was commander of the knighthood, sworn to protect the king and queen with his own blade. Ten years ago, he and a lone friend departed on a quest, and no one has heard of them since. Hmm. What a relief. Now that the queen's been found, we can refocus our efforts on the war. And yeah, we'll see how that goes. Because we know how games and adventures work. Never the way you expect them to. Alright, just you two yahoos, what you get to say? King Guardia 21st sits in audience within. Be mindful of your place. Okay, so there are stairs up behind them on either side. So, let's go. <laughs> hmm... Uh, okay, Chancellor just ran off. That can't be good. The King's Chambers are atop the tower ahead. The nice quarters are downstairs. I am to understand that you played some role in helping rescue my lady wife. I owe you a debt of gratitude. Might you know it befell Linnae? She has been acting rather oddly since her return, and she seems to have lost the coral hairpin she always wore. She always treasured that thing, so... Forgive me, you must be tired. Please rest in the knight's quarters downstairs to the left. I'll speak to the commander. Feels like you already have. The queen's chambers are above. She's granted you permission to pat. <laughs> oh. Okay, I... I have jokes. But this is a family-friendly channel, so I'll refrain from jokes. Alright. Oh. Oh yeah, okay. There is a box to loot here. 100 gold? It's for a good cause, King Sir. Oh yeah, and there's one of our uh, mysterious boxes. Good to remember that there's one in the castle. Chancellor. Hmm. What do you want? Be gone from here. Okay, I was hoping you'd tell me something useful. 
just between you and I, the Chancellor has been acting strangely these days. I've spied him sneaking out of the castle time and time again. That would be a hint, folks. The only thing I've noticed out of the ordinary as of late that the Queen's personal guard, that froggish creature, has not been around. They say a curse turned him into a frog, but I question the truth of that. No doubt he's been one of the Fiendlorn spies all along. People think the Chancellor's behavior strange, but I don't find it troubling at all. The Chancellor is a man of strong faith. Why, he goes to the cathedral every day to pray. Hmm. Bad guys have been found at the in the forest until the cathedral was built. He goes there to pray all the time. Oh, and he's hiding bronze armor in there. That, that fiendish man. Let me go save it from him. And, yep. Good thing I didn't spend the money on bronze armor back at the uh, market, huh? Okay. I probably shouldn't have bought the other armor. Down the stairs we go. Now let's finally go to the Queen's... <laughs> Let us enter the Queen's Chambers. Play some Barry Manilow. Yeah, we let's bring our potion with us too. Her Majesty awaits you. Oh, okay, that's all you got to say. It's been over ten years since Her Majesty first came to this castle, but she's scarce aged a day. In fact, she looks even younger now than she did before her disappearance. Hmm. You're the one who saved our queen? I'd expected one a bit more... dashing. Lady, I'm right here. Ah, there you are. Please leave us. I need to have words with this man in private. As you wish, Your Majesty. Come near. Don't be shy. Um. Fooled you, didn't I, Chrono? It's me, Marley. But everyone keeps calling me Linné for some reason. I'm glad you came. We were only together for that short time at the fair, but somehow I knew you'd come for me. It's almost like it's the plot of a game. Thank you, Chrono. Oh no. What's happening? The plot is advancing. Sorry. I gotta try to mock that a little less. I feel... I feel like I'm being torn apart. Help me, Chrono. You're my only hope. Oh wait, wrong franchise. I'm scared. It's like I'm dying. Please, Chrono, help. Well, that can't be good. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nothing good can come of that at all. <laughs> A great number of things change as the years go by, but if there's one thing that will never... That will ever be the same. It's women and their insufferable love of gossip. Uh, this is me officially not commenting on that on air. I'll have you know. Her Majesty has dismissed you already? Is that the kind of joke I think they're making? <laughs> you didn't engage in any untoward behavior, did you? Of course not. Let us hope that is the case. By the way, did Her Majesty seem somehow not herself? No. Truly, that perhaps I worry over much. Okay. Looks like we've got problems. Bruno! How did you get through the guards? You're okay. Did you find the girl? Uh, nope. She what? 
She disappeared? Hmm, it's just as I thought then. I knew I recognized her from somewhere. We seem to be in Guardia, but it looks a lot older than the Guardia we're from. They must have mistaken that girl for her ancestor. After all, that girl was our Princess Nadia. Dun dun dun! Worst reveal ever. Surprise face. Marley, that is Princess Nadia, is a descendant of Queen Lenny. And we'll now demonstrate the passing of generations. I swear it looks like they're sneezing a kid out. Queen Lenny was kidnapped and someone was supposed to have gone and saved her, but now history's been changed. Marley looks so much like the queen that they probably called off their search when she disappeared, but if the real queen is killed... You called the Avengers? Oh wait, no. Wrong franchise. Marley will never have existed, but there might still be enough time. If we can save the queen, history as we know it should remain unchanged. Something must happen to the queen in this era if she isn't rescued. And if something happens to her, her descendant, Princess Nadia, will never come into being. We have to find the real queen. Congratulations. Your party is now... You're now partied up. Alright, so... Oh. Padded vest. Oh, she's already got a padded vest. Okay. Um, sight scope reveals the hit points of enemies. Ooh. Do I want her speed up more, or... Do I want to see how many hit points my enemies have left? Nah, I want you faster. Alright, and she's only a level behind, so that's good. And we'll have to do some equipping. But first, let's get through the forest. And hopefully there'll be some people to get a little more uh, XP and whatnot out of, right? Hello? There we go. Bring it. Get him. Oh, she's got that stupid air gun. Don't worry, I'll grind up and uh, get some more advanced gear before too long. 10 XP, 4 tech points, 80 gold. Maybe I won't have to do that much grinding. Hi guys. You really don't want to do this. I hit the wrong button. I needed to get the guy in the back and that would have killed them all. Oh well. That works too. Kill him! Finish him! Oh wait, that was a different game. <laughs> 10 XP, 3 tech points, and 74 gold. Thank you much, and a potion. Yeah, no, I'm going to try to trigger as many fights as I can along the way. Uh, I will probably go running back and forth through the forest, getting some XP and cash. Cash monies. In between streams. Uh, Chrono's level. Oh, Luca learned flamethrower and fire world. Dual tech, that's right. Uh, is this going to... Yeah, Fire Whirl. See, one of the nice things about the game is instead of just having individual tech attacks like Chrono's little wind slash, that kind of deal, you as you level up, you can actually get dual and triple techs. So in other words, 
they all have to be ready. And this is where that, that active battle interface comes in. Um, you you got to make a decision. Do you want to absorb the damage and wait until everybody's ready? So like right now with Chrono and Luca ready at the same time, you can do a dual tech attack fire whirl. So Luca throws some fire and you fan the flames with your whirling strike. And uh, so you get the effect of Cyclone and Flamethrower at the same time. And you can do some massive, massive damage. You just gotta, you know, wait until everybody's ready. <laughs> that's, uh, that, that's always interesting. Yeah, we'll call it interesting. All right. Let's knock over a couple of guys. Uh, All right, let us head to the market real quick. No, let's buy something. All right, let's buy that pea shooter. Not the best. Oh, maybe not. Ooh, I'd like to get the pea shooter, but that's all my money. Alright, um, he's got that equipped and that would be a drop for me. I've got the bronze helm equipped, but that would be a plus for her. So I will at least get another bronze helm. And let us equip that bronze helm. And let's sell off the hide cap and the padded vest. All right, so the money is not that bad, but uh, I will definitely have to grind up to get her that air gun and make sure I've got enough money left over. Well, let me go ahead and save real quick. All right, the existing data. Yep. Okay, so we're on a vanished princess. We know that we need to head over to the, um, the cathedral. Uh, trying to keep an eye on time, leave myself a little bit of editing time as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to get through... Oh, I thought that was a, uh... I thought that was a place to fight. Um, hmm. Alright, so... I know the cathedral is going to take a little more time than I want to spend on this, and I don't want to stop in the middle of the cathedral... And then, and then pick up there on next Thursday's stream. So, this uh, this last video, this episode six, is going to be a little bit shorter than the other ones. Let me jump over to the credit screen, and this is where I say thank you for joining along. If you're on the live stream, this is the last one of the live stream, and. Uh, if you missed a section, missed a spot, jumped in in the middle, and you want to get caught up, head on over to the YouTube channel. There's a link in the description below that'll take you over there. Don't forget to follow on Twitch or Mixer, your preferred uh, streaming platform, so you can see as things uh, get notified when things go live. And subscribe to the YouTube channel. It not only helps the channel out, but you'll know when I post videos, so that way if you miss something or you're interested in some of the other stuff I do you'll get notified when that gets posted as well. If you're already on YouTube and watching this, congratulations. By the time this segment airs, tomorrow will be the next stream. I do this Thursdays live at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. You get a chance to chat live with me, so if that uh, appeals to you, please do join along. Don't worry, episodes will get posted after the fact. They'll go up a day at a time, a bit at a time. I, I record six episodes back to back to back live. There's a little bit of chat in between the episodes. So uh, if you do want to partake in that, do make sure that you join on Twitch or Mixer. There's a link in the description below. And uh, with all that said and done, this is where I'm going to say thank you. Have fun. And for those of you that are watching live, I will see you next week. For those of you on YouTube, you can watch live tomorrow, and then you will actually know the future. And uh, either way, I will see you next time. Have fun.